Welcome to another training session. In today's session, we are going to see how we can calculate the motor RPM using an encoder feedback. Now to read the encoder, we have to use this function block 47. I have a separate tutorial video on this function block. You can check it out. The link is in the description box. So going fast forward in the network number three ones, we have an encoder value. We are going to calculate the encoder number of pulses in once. For this one, we have a flag which is at 0.5 and it is blinking at 1 hertz. On the rising edge of this flag, we are moving the value, current value of the encoder into the MD30 which is pulses start count. On the negative edge of this flag, we are subtracting the pulses start count from the current value of the encoder reading. This will give us the number of pulses per second. Once we have the number of pulses in one second, we can calculate the RPM. In the network number four, we have a logic to calculate the revolutions per minute. First of all, we have to decide this number of pulses per second by 250. 250 is the number of output pulses from the encoder in one revolution. This will give us the RPS count. RPS means the revolutions per second. Once we have the revolutions per second, we can multiply by it with the 60 to calculate the RPM of the motor. As you can see that the start count is here and we have A25 number of pulses in one second and if we come down here here we can see that our rps count is 3.3 .3. this means that our shaft is rotating 3.3 turns per second and next we simply multiply it with the 60 and it gives us 198 this means that our motor rpm is 198 